we'll get started. So today we're going to do our regular setup. We're going to do three rounds, 45, 15, um, with some upper and lower body things. I do have a couple new things for us today, but, um, we don't need any equipment. We will be doing some walking lunges at the end. So maybe just a little bit of space to go forward and backwards. We're going to do a lot of planks and a lot of lunges today. So I'm going to go through demos pretty quickly and then whoops, we'll get right into it. So first movement here, we're going to do a little bit of more of a core and glute movement. So we're going to do some quadruped opposites to start. So for this, we're going to be on our hands and our knees. We want our hips to be slightly past our knees. So it's not directly over. We're out a little bit further. So push our hips back a little bit. Getting our core engaged, we're gonna exhale, extend our opposite arm, opposite leg without arching our back. So we don't wanna be here, we wanna be nice and straight. We're gonna hold for three seconds and back down. And then in sinking into our leg, coming up three seconds and down. So it's gonna help us work on our glutes and our core strength. So, and our shoulders as well. So a little bit of pillar strength there. And then we're gonna do plank to pike toe taps. So tucking our toes, pushing our hips up and into our plank and then to the pike. So tapping our opposite toe for our shoulder stability and strength. And then after that, we're gonna move into a pike push up. So hips up, keeping our head, trying to get our head in between our hands, elbows are facing um, our legs and just like that. <clears throat> and then after that, we're gonna move into our lower body. So. For this one, we are going to do similar to our around the world lunges, but it's a different, a different world. So for this, what we're going to do is we're going to do three separate lunges here, all on one leg, and then we'll move to the other side. So on this one, we can start with whichever foot you like. We're going to step back behind diagonal for a curtsy lunge. As we come up, we're going to then come back for a reverse lunge. And then we're going to go out to the side for a lateral lunge. So three types of lunges, but this time again, curtsy. So back behind diagonal, reverse, and then lateral. So we're gonna do that on one side and the other side, same thing, curtsy, reverse, and lateral. So that's gonna be that. And then we are gonna finish out with some walking lunges. So making sure we have enough space. If we um, don't have enough space to then go into the next one, cause you can always do like one and then one and then turn around. If you don't have enough space to do that, um, you can always just do a regular forward lunge or if that's too much on your knees, you can do a, oh, or just a regular reverse lunge there. So that, is going to be our whole circuit today. So let's go ahead, start with our warm up. We're going to go ahead and get started with the world's greatest stretch. So we are going to come to the top of our space. We're going to interlace our fingers, grabbing onto one of our knees, pulling towards our chest. And we're going to go ahead, exhale, step back, reverse lunge. Hands coming down on the inside of our front foot. Back leg stays nice and straight. Nice big deep inhale. And exhale, opening up towards the ceiling, towards our front leg, gazing past our hand, making sure we're looking at our palm. So our thumb is facing behind us. That's going to help us open up our back a little bit more. And we're going to go ahead and exhale, plant our hand outside of our front foot. Bring our back foot a little bit closer and push our hips up into our hamstring stretch. And we're gonna go ahead and exhale. Bring our feet together, push the ground away and stand on up. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So interlace our fingers, grabbing onto our other knee, pulling towards our chest. And we're gonna go ahead and exhale, step back, reverse lunge, hands coming down on the inside of our front foot. Back leg stays nice and straight. Nice big deep inhale. And exhaling, opening up towards our front leg, looking past our hand, thumb is facing behind us. And 
then let's go ahead, exhale, plant outside of our front foot. Bring our back foot a little bit closer and push our hips up into our hamstring stretch. And ready, we'll head and exhale. Bring our feet together, push the ground away and stand on up. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead, get our upper body a little bit more warmed up. So um, you can stay where you were just standing or whatever you'd like, but we're gonna go ahead, push our hips back, bring our hands to the ground. Walk our hands out into our plank. And we're gonna go ahead and do a couple plank to pikes here to open things up. So let's go ahead, push our hips up towards the ceiling. You can pedal our heels a little bit. Do a little quick, open up our calves. We can plant both our feet into the ground, poking our head in between our arms. And come back to our plank. Come back up pretty quick and back down. Two more coming up and down. And last one coming up. And back to plank. Then we can go ahead and gently bring our knees to the ground. And we're going to stay there because we're going to start off on our hands and our knees. So, um, like I said, three rounds. We're going to do 45 15, starting with our quadruped opposites. So, I'm going to go ahead and get the timer started here in. Three, two, one, and go. So starting on our hands and our knees, sinking into our hips. So we want our hips to be slightly past our knees. And then exhaling, extending one arm and one leg out, holding for three seconds and back down. So the key here is to keep our weight evenly distributed between our hand and our knee. With our hips being, if we're here, it's going to be a little bit harder to balance coming out. That's why we really want to push our hips back, have our hips behind our knees. Exhale, squeeze our glute, lift our arm, making sure our headlights on our hips are blinding the ground. And that's going to keep our core engaged. So this is, like I said, this is going to work our pillar. So we're getting a little bit of shoulder work. We're working on our hips because they're strengthening our glutes. Three, two, one. We went a little over that time. My apologies. Okay, next up, we have a plank to pike toe tap. Three, two, one. So starting on our hands and our toes, exhaling, coming up, tapping our toe back down. So exhale, coming up, tap the opposite toe and back down. So we're getting that single leg arm, or sorry, oh my gosh, single arm stability and strength, as well as core. So making sure when we come back into our plank, we're nice and straight. We don't want our hips to sag down. So making sure we're going nice, slow, and controlled to the point where we stop before our hips go too low. Great job. Three, two, one. All right. Last up, we're going to do our pike push-up. So we're going to stay in that pike position. And do push-ups there. Three, two, one. All right. So hips are up. Bringing our head in between our hands. We want to make sure our elbows are not going out. They're going towards our heels. Going in. Just like with a regular push-up, right? So if we were just doing total push-ups here, we'll be here. Our elbows come down. And we push up, same with the pike push-ups. So our hands are here, our elbows are still in. That protects our shoulder joint there. We wanna make sure we're not putting too much pressure on the joint. We should feel this in our back a little bit as well because we're keeping our upper back nice and flat. Three, two, one. All right. Next up are Curtsy to reverse to lateral lunge. So starting on whichever side you'd like. Three, two, one. So I'm gonna start with my right leg. So my left leg goes back behind diagonal, making sure our hips are facing forward. So our headlights on our hips, just like with that first movement, they stay forward. We come down, up, reverse lunge, pressing through our whole foot of the front leg. Then out to the side for our lateral lunge and back up. So 
from this angle here again, back behind diagonal. My knee is still coming forward. I'm pressing through my the heel of the front foot. Same on the way back and same on the way out. It's this way, three, two, one. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. The curtsy, reverse, lateral. <clears throat> Three, two, one. So I'm switching sides here. Again, back behind diagonal. Hips are forward, coming down. Reverse, keeping our chest forward. Our core is engaged. But we're still tall through our torso. So I don't want us, just because I say our chest is forward, doesn't mean we're here. We're still up, but our chest is angled the same way that our shin is angled. So we don't want to be all the way upright. We also don't want to be all the way forward. So finding our happy medium, wear your logo proud, keep your core engaged. Three, two, one. All right, last up, walking lunges. So start on whichever side you'd like. Three, two, one. So stepping forward. Again, same, same position, right? Our, my chest is still over the arch of my front foot. I'm still pushing through my front leg. You don't have to step super far out either. I find a lot of times when I say walking lunges, we're stepping out super far. That's going to put that pressure on the back leg. So when we step a little bit closer, we can really keep the weight in our front glute and make sure we're protecting our knees as well. Great job. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right. One round down, two to go. Starting with our quadruped opposites. Three, two, one. So again, we're sinking into our back legs. Stand out, hold for three seconds, and back down. So you may be wondering, Jazzy, why are you calling those bird our quadruped opposites? Those are bird dogs. I would say bird dogs are a little bit different. We are not coming in. We're not letting our back round. We're not arching it. We're keeping our core engaged. Focusing on extending out while keeping our trunk nice and tight. This is going to help us, like I said, build our pillar strength. So we can really get a nice shoulder engagement here. Hips are going three, two, one. All right. Next up, plank to type. Oh my gosh. Plank to pike toe tap. Three. Two, one. So we're here, exhaling up and back down. Making sure we exhale, making sure two. Just like with anything, we really want to screw those hands into the ground so our upper back is nice and flat. So making sure we exhale coming up and back down. Great job. Almost there. Keep tapping. Three, two, one. All right. Last but not least, our pike push ups. I mean, by last but not least, I mean for the upper body, because then we got our lower body stuff after that. Three, two, one, so we're tap, oh ta we're not tapping, we're pushing. <laughs> we're bringing our head again in between our hands, pushing back up. Trying to, um, again, we're keeping our back nice and flat. If you need to bend your knees a little bit, 
go ahead and do that. Finding our good positioning for ourselves. I know what feels good for me won't necessarily feel good for everyone else. So finding our good hand position, our good pike position, and all that stuff. Exhaling as we push up. Three, two, one. All right. On to our lower body. Curtsy lunge, reverse lunge, and lateral lunge. Three, two, one. All right. So we're going back behind diagonal, keeping our hips forward, making sure that in our reverse lunge, we are keeping our feet on our train tracks. So what I mean by that is as we step back, my foot is directly behind my hip and we're parallel. We don't want to be here. Like we're on a tight rope. That's going to give us balance issues. We want to step directly back and then out to the side. If you can challenge yourself to not put your other foot on the ground as you go between lunges. Three, two, one. Wonderful. All right. Next up, same thing, other side. And then we have walking lunges. Three, two, one. So back behind diagonal, hips are forward. Reverse lunge and out. Oh. Again, try and challenge yourself. Try not to put that foot on the ground, but if you need to for balance purposes, definitely do that. I know this side for me is a little bit stronger, but my balance is not that good on my left side. So sink in your hips if you need to for balance. Using our heel big to little toe as we push through our front foot. Three, two, one. All right. Last part of round two, walking lunges. And then we'll start at the top for our last round. Three. Two, one, forward. Try and go straight into the next one if you can. Again, if you don't have enough space to do too many, you can do one and then come back the way you came. So that could look like this where we come up and then the other side. I find that doing that can be a little bit better on your knees versus just doing a static lunge where we have to push back. I find a lot of times that puts a lot of pressure on our knees. So if that's not comfortable, then go ahead and try it this way. And then back. Do whatever works for you. Three, two, one. All right. Great job, everyone. Last round. Coming on up, we have quadruped opposites. Moving on our hands and our knees. Three, two, one. So we are pushing our hips back. Our core is engaged. We're holding for about three seconds. We want to make sure that as we're here, when you stick your leg out, we, we don't want to be leaning over our hip. So from this angle here, I'm, whoops. My knees are underneath my hips for here. So if you notice, I'm not leaning. We're staying nice and balanced between our sides. Three, two, one. All right. Up next, plank to pike toe tap. And then our pike push ups, and we're done with our upper body. Three, two, one, and go. Keeping our hands screwed into the ground so that way we know where to go. We don't want to be hunched in our back. We want to keep our back nice and flat. Okay. 
job. Keep pushing. Almost there. Three, two, one. Awesome. Done with those. Plus upper body movement, pike push ups. And then we'll have our lower body. Now we're going to cool down. Three, two, one. All right. So pike push ups. Try and get as many as we can in here. Upper back is nice and flat, so sh pull our shoulder blades down and together. Try and get our breath down. My breath is opposite. We want to inhale down. Exhale up. Keep our core nice and tight here. Zipping everything together. Three, two, one. All right. We are done. Upper body. We got our last three movements here. And then we are going to be on the ground for our cool down. Three, two, one. So we have curtsy. Reverse. Lateral. So I don't know if y'all can see how slow I'm moving through this, but by moving that slow, I'm really making sure as I stand up, I'm pushing through my heel. I'm using my glutes to get my body up versus momentum or any other muscle. So I really like to focus on just using my glutes. A little bit of hamstrings are involved there as well versus just going super fast and using my back leg to push off. Oh, I'm now doing this one. Three, two, one. Oh, that was too close. All right. Done with that leg. Other leg coming on up. I feel like now my glutes are like, ah. we feel the fire. Three, two, one. Back behind diagonal. Again, headlights on our hips, blinding the camera forward. If you're facing the camera, I am facing the camera, so I'm going to blind you guys. And then come over. We got it. We're doing awesome. Finish strong with our workout today. We are in our final two movements. Great job. Three, two, one. All right. Last movement of the afternoon. Walking lunges. I mentally prepare for these. Three, two, one. Let's see how many we can do in 45 seconds. Push ourselves, finish our workout strong. Um, while we're in our last movement, I know I mentioned yesterday, Noelle will be subbing my Wednesday boot camp class. I was unable to get another sub. So this will be the last exercise of Exos until Thursday the 28th. So no to exercise of Exos next Thursday, which is my birthday by the way. So no, no exercise of Exos next Thursday or the following Thursday. But you can do recorded ones instead. You can find those on YouTube. Three, two, one. And that... Is going to be our whole circuit for today. So go ahead, grab a sip of water if you need it. We're going to go ahead and make our way onto the ground for some bretzels. So for bretzel, our checklist, we're going to be on the ground on your side. So choose your side here. And, oh, my back just scratched this Lovely. So we are on our side. We're going to take our top leg 
pressing up over and across our body. Our knee and our ankle are going to stay on the ground. Our bottom hand, we're going to grab onto our top knee. Top hand grabs onto our bottom foot or ankle. Nice big inhale. And exhaling, bringing our top shoulder towards the ground. We're going to do a few deep breaths here. I really want us to focus on sawing away our attention. Release all the tension we feel in our muscles today. Slowing our breath down, making our exhales longer than our inhales. I'm going to go ahead and do one more breath here. And as we finish our exhale, we can gently release out of that. And then we're going to go ahead and make our way onto our other side for the same checklist. So remember, ready, other side. Our top leg comes up over across our body, knee and ankle stay on the ground. Bottom hand grabs onto our top knee. Top hand grabs onto our bottom foot or ankle. I'm gonna do a nice big inhale. And exhale, opening up towards the ceiling. It's gonna help us open up our quads, our hip flexors, our glutes, our low back our upper back and our chest and shoulders, which is why I like to do this one because we really hit everything just like the world's greatest stretch. The second world's greatest stretch is the breath. I'm renaming it. Not really, but a nice big inhale through our nose into our bellies. Exhaling, sighing away our tension, sinking further into the ground. And one more breath here. And as we finish our exhale, when we're ready, go ahead and gently release out of that. And feel free to stay on the ground or you can return to a seated kneeling or a standing position. But that is going to be all the time I have for us today. So um, again, reminder, no exercise that excels the next two Thursdays. Um, but we will have boot camp with Noel the next two Wednesdays and everything else is staying the same. No stretch breaks either. Um, no in-person classes, but I will see y'all in a few weeks, but I hope you have a great weekend, a great few weeks, and I'll see you.